What's up guys, Origin here, and I'm in War Thunder, flying my A6 M2 Ryzen. This is during one of the events where they were fighting the Americans, and pretty much everybody on the enemy team took out P-39s. And you'll see here, the main uh, advantage for P-39s is speed. They're not very maneuverable, but they can uh, outdive A6 M2 all day, and outrun it. So see their tactic here is mainly just to run away, but... What I wanted to talk to you guys about was ramming in War Thunder and when I think it's acceptable and when I think it's not. I mean, for the most part, I think ramming is unacceptable in general. There are some situations where I feel it can be used and should be used, such as the example I'll show you guys later in this video. Now, see, I'm engaged. This guy had his. 58 or whatever his name is. He's in his B-39. And I get on his tail pretty easily here. You know, not too much effort. I fly right up behind him and I'm on his ass. Put some rounds into him and he uses his speed to the advantage and, and breaks away from me like he should in his B-39. Well, you'll see in a minute he basically would fly out, you know, 7 kilometers or whatever, turn around come by for a pass, he'd miss me, I'd shoot him a couple times, and then he'd keep flying until another 7 kilometer distance or whatever. And this is, I don't know, 15 minutes into the game, I think, and I got this fast forwarded right now, but I chased him in game for, I don't know, 7 or 10 minutes, and just doing the same thing over, he'd fly way, 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 way out there, get his altitude, turn around, pretty much do nothing except fly past me, and then do it again. And it was getting pretty frustrating. So, I told him in game, I said, uh, I'll let you know, as soon as you turn around and I get in range, I'm going to plow right into you. And by the time I finally catch up to him, he's the last guy in the game. And everybody on the team is trying to catch up to this idiot. And most of everybody on my team is flying slower Japanese aircraft. So we're pretty much never going to catch him unless he makes a mistake of, you know, turning too much, losing all his energy. And give me the altitude advantage which he eventually does right here and uh, I end up catching up to him right as he's getting ready to land on his aircraft and he's the last guy on their team I'm not gonna let him get away my little weak 7.7 seven millimeter machine guns aren't gonna cut it so you know what I plow right into him and take him out I'm not gonna let the game go on any further I'm gonna end it right here so that's the only time I think ramming is acceptable when you can finish the game by taking somebody out do it so, let me know what you guys think with a comment below, if you agree or disagree, or what you think about ramming. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.